In this proof of concept video, an attack against a time-based, one-time password hardware token with an NFC interface is demonstrated. The target device is a Protectimus Slim NFC, which is a programmable hardware OTP token and available in a typical payment card form factor. The Protectimus Slim NFC can be configured using a corresponding Android app named Protectimus TOTP Burner. This TOTP hardware token generates time-based one-time passwords based on the standard RFC 6283. During a research project, Sys IT security expert Matthias Deeg found a design error in the Analyze Protectimus Slim NFC, which allows for a specific kind of attack, namely a time traveler attack, that is demonstrated shortly. This found security vulnerability is described in our Sys Security Advisory Sys 2021-007. If you want to learn more, you should also have a look at our paper titled On the Security of RFID-Based TOTP Hardware Tokens, written by Matthias Deeg and Gerhard Klostermeier. Here you can see our target device, a Protectimus Slim NFC Hardware Token, and the general purpose RFID tool Proxmark 3 connected to our attacker laptop. By analyzing the near field communication of the token and its corresponding Android app, we could find out enough information to develop a Lua script for the Proxmark 3. Using this script, it is possible to read the current one-time password via near-field communication, for example. But more interestingly, it is also possible to perform a time traveler attack. Due to a design error, the time used by the Protectimus Slim NFC token can be set independently from the secret seed value used for generating time-based one-time passwords without requiring any authentication. Thus, an attacker with short-time physical access to a Protectimus Slim NFC hardware token can set the internal real-time clock to the future generate one-time passwords at will and afterwards reset the clock to the current time. This allows for generating valid future time-based one-time passwords without having further physical access to the hardware token. Let's wait and see if we have calculated the correct future one-time password. Yes, we did. Our time traveling attack was successful as we have correctly predicted the one time password for this chosen point in time. From a security perspective, this is an undesired property for this kind of device. 